welcome to Bobcast. I think this is like episode four, I think. It Three is. Or four. Heck yeah, man. So we're on episode four. Um, a New Hope? <laughs> yeah. Oh my a god, that is not the movie. <laughs> should we, is should that? Should we title this podcast? <laughs> no, no, because everybody would think it's corny. It'd be like, bro, have you even seen Star Wars? No, it makes sense because, oh, and I'm Star sorry, Wars. I'm chewing carne asada, but the f- episode before this. You cannot this, be eating it. No, we're not going to do no ASMR. you got to finish that last bite. you got to turn your, <laughs> okay, I'm okay. Turning your mic off. My, 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 bite. my, my bite's done. Think about this. You no, know, the, the bite's right there. The episode before this. <laughs> Was the Struggle Bus Chronicles? It was, and so this being a New Hope makes sense. Episode three was not called Struggle Bus Chronicles in Star Wars. (laughs) (laughs) It might might as well be. Anakin became Darth Vader. That's that's the struggle, (laughs) and and Emperor Palpatine (laughs) executed Order sixty six. That's the that's not the Struggle Bus Chronicles. I don't know what it. Dude, not gonna lie, Anakin was really riding that struggle bus, dude. Yeah, yeah. And, and now we have a big, a extensive chronicling about it. Big rip to Mason. But Windy, anyways, right? you're still doing your intro, so. <laughs> anyways, send, welcome back to the it. podcast, guys. Yeah, send it. Episode four. How you guys Episode doing? Episode four. Nathan, what is up with? No, 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 no. Episode stop, four. Stop. Carlos. What's up, my man? I, that's not my problem. You Bro, think your food? Your, you think your food's my problem? I'm gonna ask you how your day is. You gotta, you gotta answer. The people gotta know. That's okay, why they're here. Okay, my, my day is going. It's going good. You know, I I, I slept in. I, I saw. That's our, right. We're our producer Godfrey, who's not with us right now, he's sick. Uh, I think I passed it on to him, and, uh, and for that, I no way. And he's st- so he so he wasn't people. here for Thursday. The rec- our recording on Thursday, and he not here still today. got it. Do you think yeah. he was just feeling bad that day, and just that's why he actually didn't come in, or do you think he stuff's going around? He could have got it from anywhere. Yeah. Um, Not only COVID, the the, the fourth, the fifth ed, uh, edition of COVID is going around, but the flu right. and just the normal cold. This summer is gonna gonna be rough for everyone. Fifth edition of COVID was apparently written by Brandon Sanderson. Right? So. You're gonna have to explain that at a later date. But how are you doing, Nathan? What's up? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Uh, I don't, dude. I don't even know right now, man. Like my my thoughts are kind of clouded. Um, so first I off, you got, got Wendy's. No, first off, I got fired from my freaking job. <laughs> no, right? no, first off, are you serious I, right first now? First off, I got fired from my job. I did not. I got uh, to Wendy's after it. F's right? in the chat. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, we're trying, I was leading up to it. You can't just be like, I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, I literally just said, shut up. Right? All right, so man. So I got Honestly, fired. Okay, okay. I got fired. Um, it, it sucked. Um, I don't want to get into like too much detail. To be honest, I. Well, we're talking in C major yeah. right now, apparently. <laughs> oh, C major. Uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to buy you five bucks yeah. at C. Probably, yeah. Uh, okay. So, okay. I got fired from my job. Um, so, to start it off with, um, my. Wait, I think I described this last episode where, like, you, did. you know, yeah. You told us all about that. Yeah. So, all yeah. about that company, which we will name drop Winco yeah. Foods. Winco Foods. Win Company, Winco which Foods. they did not win with me because I got fired. <laughs> So I apparently Lose. failed. Winco, which did not win with me. It's Lose Co now. <laughs> oh, Lose. idiot. Lose Co. Oh, oh, got him. Oh, you got him. You got him now. Dun, uh, dun. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> take a mortal man. You take a normal retail job. <laughs> dun, uh, dun. <laughs> Gotta get me fired. I don't know the lyrics. I just got fired. Anyway, so Winco point system. This bit's getting old. So so Winco is now Lose Co because they lost one of their greatest employees. So they could they couldn't even handle you for over two months. They couldn't even get to the two month mark, and they had to let you go due due to the strength of your power. Your peak performance was pressing pressure on their parameters. What the CEO felt the pressure of your strength and was like, you know what? No, we gotta get no, rid of this guy no. before he gets stop, rid of me. Stop and then Nathan memeing, stop memeing for like two seconds. the table and <laughs> said, "You can't deny my strength." <laughs> stop memeing for like two seconds, right? So, so <laughs> no, 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 no,
<laughs> like, please, sir, I really want to keep this up. Well, you can't have it, principality. <laughs> you can't <laughs> have it, power. You can't yeah, have it. it. rules the darkness of this <laughs> world. <laughs> Bro, I haven't even seen that yet, and I know that's hilarious. I know you haven't even shown it to me. Good old uh, Kenneth I'll show Copeland, which hopefully I think Dude, we should talk about Kenneth Copeland in the next podcast. I think it'll be awesome. Mm. I'm down. Kenneth, Kenneth oh, a, a, good, a, a good old fashioned Kenneth <laughs> Copeland and Bigfoot episode. Let's do it. Oh my god, dude. Who, who, yeah, who's the guy? That who's who's awesome. the guy uh, for the for the Bigfoot story? It's my buddy uh, Daniel Roush. Shout out to Daniel. Uh, he goes to my church, and um, yeah, I've known him for uh, a little over a year. Okay. Uh, just just got engaged to be married. Um, yeah, I, don't, I, I think I'd say, like, as far as like my church friends go, he's probably one of my best church friends. That's awesome. <laughs> Over what, Melissa? Oh, you're thinking about Charlotte. Char- yeah, Charlotte's cool. Charlotte, Char- Charlotte my, and my Brian. Bad. Charlotte and Brian. They're, yeah, they're yeah. super cool. Um, w- I, I, would I, you rank him above her? I would rank them equally. I, I love them all the same. Oh, nice. By your facial expressions, I would say otherwise. All right, all right, all right. So no, if I went to your church, would okay. I be, like, number zero? <laughs> You'd be like above number one. Okay, if I had to pick one, uh, as far as my church friends, if I had to rank one, oh, wait, all right, anyway, that, that's all, awesome. What do you think we can have on the podcast? What do you, th- what do you think? It's, it's going to be Charlotte's daughter cassette, and it's not um, even her it's unborn not, daughter. It's not even close. She has a daughter. Oh, it's just an unborn son. My bad. I don't know who you're talking about. So come to church and find out. So basically, hey, you've been inviting me a billion different times. Come sometime, man. Let's do it. Charlotte's Web, right? Charlotte's Web. Charles Webb. That book is a good book, <laughs> even though I hate spiders. <laughs> no, no, but, but uh, no, 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 uh, okay. g- give us a, so, give us a yes. oh, fly, fly Speaking of uh, oh. spiders, Stranger Things. Ooh. Oh, you saw a finale? Okay, no, 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 no. I, I, I have two episodes left. I haven't watched so, any of Stranger dude, Things yet. So, shut, it, so shut, shut down it the down. spoilers. Shut it down. Shut, shut down, down the spoilers. Okay, it's just, it oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to blow your mind, dude. I know. Shut it's already blowing my mind. It's already such a good... They, they they really transitioned them uh, well into high school and stuff yeah. like that and and spoilers moved. bro it's and, it's a good it's a good series spoilers bro and it, it's a good it's Dan a good it, it's a good series I can't I, I cannot wait for the finale I know it's gonna be massive oh, this, the yeah. CGI it is gut wrenching. The CGI is are good. You, are you and Erica watching it together? Is it no, we're not. You? She hasn't. She hasn't seen a single episode. She's not going to listen to the podcast. So we okay. Can't <laughs> okay. So <laughs> she does not. She doesn't give it. Okay. So in that case, I want to be there when you watch the finale. So so let me know when you get there. The and, finality. Uh, the finality. The yeah. finale. Did I say finality? Dang it. Well, you could have. I, I would have. So finality. maybe next week. Dude, I'm so ready. Maybe, maybe next week before the we'll we'll get it planned out. We'll get it planned out. My man. Okay. Yeah, I would love to. I don't really have to. Oh, I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off next week, so we might as well. We might as well. Yeah, we might as well. I, like maybe it's Friday night or something like that. Thank you. So, the main topic of the episode that I kind of wanted to get through, just because the memes are kind of getting, um, kind of, we're kinda, going up. We're going up. We're going up. Heck yeah. Uh, no, because the memes, like you know, they've been come coming and going. Uh, the trial completed <gasps> oh, two weeks oh. ago, I think. By this time, if my calculations are correct, uh, but the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case. So, have you guys heard anything about that? I have not ever heard much about it lately until That's recently. Really bad pun. Um, yeah, yeah. If there was ever a time to hit the eject button on someone in this podcast, it's going to be. You Carlos. can't really fathom the Johnny Depp's of how bad that joke was. Wow. Shut it down. So we need, apparently we need a double eject button because the first one didn't work. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Um, All no, right, but, so you uh, killed it twice. Yeah. yeah. Nice job. Just to be nice. Okay. Just so I knew you were going to bring up this topic because of, yeah. of earlier on in the day, so I did some research on it, so I, I didn't want to be completely uneducated, like, yeah. like uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I want, I want to only, only – bro, I'm only referencing that because I felt so bad not knowing anything about it. I feel like I really need to – whatever topic is going to be here, I need to be prepared for. Right? Prepared. Is that, prepared. Is that a stab towards me? No, it's a stab towards me because, oh. Oh. well, okay, actually, yeah, it was a secret. What? You kept it a whole secret. You're like, yeah, I'm going to bring a secret topic, and you're not going to know anything, and you're going to feel bad. A and it's going to be a giant explosive be awesome. topic like Dungeons and Dragons. Dr- and then we're like, I'm done. I'm so, I'm done with that bit. I'm sorry. mortal man. Dave Mustaine wants you to be his roadie because of that. Dude, we should get him on the pod. Dave Mustaine. He's on TikTok, pod. If you want to get on the pod. He makes some awesome TikToks. That's the friends forever cast at gmail.com. Let's do it. Let's do it. TikTok Mustaine, dude. Hit him up, man. All right, so what do you um, got, man? What do you yeah, got? Yeah, so I only put a few points just because, like, I'm not sure, like, how much time we'd have. So, like, I only put, like, a handful of points. Um, yeah, just 
So yeah, he goes yeah. to fly, fly over. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the whole Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case, I'm not sure if any of our, like, one one or two listeners, uh, like, have any knowledge about that. But, like, basically, um, I'm not sure what happened first. But uh, basically, Amber Heard was suing Johnny Depp, I think, for, I think it was domestic abuse. Domestic abuse. Yeah. So like, almost five years ago today, mm. six years ago today, I think it was, yeah. uh, about a week ago, actually, because this is when it was released. Uh, five, years ago, five years ago today, she went to uh, the courthouse to sue for um, abuse. Uh, domestic abuse. Yeah. yeah. And I think mm-hmm. sexual abuse, too. But the <clears throat> domestic abuse is the one thing that kind of came forward. Right. Yeah. And was it? I, I might be wrong. I'm so sorry if I am. But was that what sparked the Me Too movement? Um, that was around the I don't time. Think so I think that was a little bit after. Okay. I think. Okay. I, I'm not entirely. You sure. You know what's funny? I had no idea what. Bro, I got notes. All right. I, I, okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, so, Cal, Cal. Drop, d- 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 drop that fire. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it. So here's the thing. I didn't even know what the Me Too movement was. Yeah. And it was just uh, people that were, were going to put their hands up on social media saying they got abused, right? In yeah. Kyle's right. defense. In Kyle's defense. Let me come to your defense real quick. Before, I don't go on Twitter. Before people want to cancel you, this this man does not spend any time on social media. I know, man. Yeah. And so let's not be too quick to cancel Thank him. you. Thank Anyways, you. Go ahead now. My, th- thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, and I don't... <laughs> I didn't know what the DCU stood for, so I Googled it. I was like, It doesn't matter. No, 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 no. I just, suck. No, 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 no. Oh, Detective Comics <laughs> Universe. Now everyone knows. De- Detective oh. Comics Universe. So this is for all of the, the, the unintelligence out there that are right along with me, not knowing anything about what, what, what the internet has to offer and just going on with, with every conversation you, you've ever had about. I actually forgot DC stood for Detective Comics, and for the longest yeah. time I was like, <laughs> what does DC stand for? Washington, this means Washington, D.C. Comics? I swear I was just, I, was, I, was, I, was, I thought it was the second half of ACDC. I didn't freaking know, dude. Drives that Carlos. drastic cars? That drives Carlos. <laughs> Drives. drives Carlos Universe. <laughs> <laughs> no, please go on, go on. All right, so the main thing is that, that that's really interesting about this is that yeah. both legal teams reflected how each actor um, was handling the situation. Mm. So Amber Heard was being really aggressive. She was throwing all these things around. Yeah. Oh, um, and nice. her team was also doing that at the, at the, uh, on the stand in court. They're yeah. also being really aggressive. They're emulating how she wanted to portray things, yeah. um, which... I didn't really think that's how things go because if a murderer is really aggressive, usually you see those um, those cases go down where the 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 the, pro, the the defendant is standing there with him. He's like, and he stands there normally. And he stands yeah. there normally. He's, he's really calm and collected. But th- this mm. group was just throwing. It was like ninety percent insults and ten percent facts. And yeah, then, it was and, really childish. And then it was reverse for Jambi or Jambi uh, <laughs> for Jamba Juices. <laughs> <laughs> Jamba Juice Depp. No, <laughs> Jamba Juice Depp. Can we make the, can we, oh, that's a title. Title. Jamba Sorry, Juice, Juice Depp. <laughs> a, a New Hope. <laughs> oh, please, please. Oh my God. All right, such memes. a mean title, dude. I'm. I'm and then ninety percent facts on Johnny Depp's side, uh-huh. uh, oh, yeah. and a calm, 100%. collected uh, face from his mm-hmm. team and him and. And ten uh, percent insults, which which was yeah. m- way less than he could have done because they were. Yeah. Just, bro, bro, there was actually a time where Amber Heard's team, um, uh, they they uh, objected themselves. Like they asked yeah. a question, then they objected. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, I objected myself. Dude, I objected myself. Oh, it, I objected myself. oh. Dude, it was there? so cringy because I, I watched this trial. It was literally over like thirty hours of video, dude. Yeah, I, I watched everything live and dude it was the funniest thing in the world when i watched it live i'm just like oh my god oh that's crazy there's so so many keck w's in chat and there's a lot of like laughing emojis i'm just like dude there there should be a drinking game called like take a shot every time he says objection hearsay hearsay (laughs) absolutely (laughs) you and three generations behind you funk master flex hearsay funk master flex hearsay (laughs) (laughs) oh oh <laughs> take 20 shots. <laughs> You're probably in your death, man. Yeah. Bro, bro, bro. I got all these things that Amber faked. She faked PTSD. That was a lot. Yeah. Fa- fa- failed uh, the subtle questions that uh, the, uh, people with actual PTSD would answer a certain way, and she answered them the wrong way. Yeah. She had her friends help her stage, and ab- uh, stage abuse and call the cops multiple times. Yep. Yep. They tipped off TMZ to take photos of her. That was the five years ago thing that got this whole thing started. Yep. Um, she threw bod- b- vodka, vodka. She threw vodka bottle at, uh, <laughs> at Johnny Depp and put, a, lit a, and put out a cigarette on his face. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she used the hashtag Me Too movement and no one else came forward with her. Not a single other, not yep. even his ex came yep. forward. A 15 years yeah. came forward with that. 
Yep. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, just like I said, you know, the final statements were like 90% insults, which is completely absurd. Yeah. Um, no, like, dude, watching it live is like a whole different experience, man, because you get to see like everybody's personality and stuff like that. Sure, and, sure. Oh, yeah. And just for the listeners, uh, me and Johnny Depp have like the same speech impediment. So, it, like, he Ooh. slows I didn't down know? a lot wow. and he, like, he stops a lot and, and he thinks, um, like what I'm doing right now. Nice. And I, he, I had no clue. Yeah. Um, good to know. Good to know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, because uh, I'm not sure if you guys heard Johnny Depp's uh, testimony at all. Um, of how he came to Christ? No. His actual. His, no. Te- oh, you're meaning. T- testifying. Yeah. I was like, wait, <laughs> he's, I, I thought you were just happy because he came to Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Depp, I would, I would love for you to come to Christ. That yeah. would be crazy no, if, he's, uh, if he's listening. That'd be super awesome. Um, what a testimony. I l- listens to Bobcast, comes to Jesus. <laughs> like, that would be cool. Man, what? That's don't laugh. That's amazing. That We're doing be, the Lord's work. You know what? I, I would. Yeah, that would be great. I yeah, would. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> no, yeah. Turn to your um, sins. Turn to Christ. Uh, if you like, uh, I highly encourage uh, just p- for people listening, just to like go back and uh, try to get like tidbits of like the uh, court cases and stuff because um, y- you get to see a lot of uh, sides of people that you don't normally see. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's like a lot to the justice system than just like you know like w- one or two things that you might see on the internet or something like that. There's like a lot to it, man. Like it's it, it's jam packed full of um, like um, finding like uh, like w- witnesses and stuff like that, and just finding like evidence for like your case and stuff. It mm-hmm. takes years to build a case like that, man. It so does. It takes does. A long time. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, I pretty much did the same exact thing that you did. I put down like some talking points and stuff like that for like notes. Um, awesome. Okay. So okay. yeah, um, I'm not sure if you have this in your notes, but like, uh, d- did you happen by chance to see Amber Heard's uh, op-ed about Johnny Depp? No. Uh, yeah. And can you describe to me what that is? No, because they, they brought that, you? They, br- they brought that up multiple times. Yeah. Um. So. I'm not exactly sure myself, but like she basically wrote an article speaking out against uh, domestic abuse and stuff like that. But like this is back, like I think like after she came out that Johnny Depp abused her, quote unquote. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. She wrote it immediately after, but apparently it's not about Johnny Depp, which makes no sense. It's like, why would you write it if it wasn't about your didn't, own didn't she abuse? Eventually, didn't she eventually come out? During like the end of her yep. trial, yep. and say that, and then everything. She did because that's really risky. She was yeah. pressured by Camille Vasquez, which she she's not only like a babe, but like she <laughs> knows how to do her job like, really, really well. Yeah, uh, Camille, if you want to date Nathan, <laughs> best of friends forever cast at gmail dot Oh my gosh, no hit way. Hit me up. You say hit me up. Hit me up to set <laughs> to set you up with Nathan. I was like, wait, Nathan. doesn't Nathan have control of the podcast or the the podcast email? <laughs> What the heck? Hit my email up right now. No, um, <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, Halo Wars Zero Eight at gmail.com. <laughs> Cortana, please. <laughs> please don't RP email Halo. No, 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 no. But please tell me about about, about your your future wife. What? No, uh, Cortana. Not my future wife, but uh, Camille works for the Johnny Depp's legal team, which I forget what the name is right now. Um, but yeah, she John, basically John like Juice legal. <laughs> John Bajuice legal. What? John ba- John Bajuice legal. Would you rather John have <laughs> unlimited John Bajuice or yeah. unlimited John Petrucci guitar what? lessons? One on one lessons with John Petrucci. No, they're online. They're online. They're not in person. They're online. Oh my gosh. They're Zoom calls. All right. Or unlimited John Bajuice. Super, so off, topic, super John Bajuice. off topic, but uh, and and the Zoom calls yeah. are really laggy. Like, Zoom, and, Zoom and, he, they, and he's really boomery. He's like, he's like yeah. how, do, how do I get this thing to work? And eventually just crashes. <laughs> <laughs> or limited Jamba Juice. Like, hey, hey, John, how you doing? Like 20 seconds later. Hey. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. <laughs> You're going to tell super, us this thing. Super, super, super this duper, duper, or, all right, guys. Super duper off topic, but yeah. Uh, so Camille basically, because... She works for Johnny Depp's legal team, which, again, I don't know, know the name of it. Um, I forgot to write it down. My bad. Um, so she basically backed Amber Heard into a corner. Um, and she, Oh, was she, the, oh wait, was she the one at the very end that gave that uh, final speech for Johnny Depp? Yeah. Okay. I know, I know what she looks like. 
Yeah, uh, she did a lot of the talking and stuff like that, but... Uh, is it still recording? It is. Okay, good. It is. Keep, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> that would have sucked. Um, no, yeah, um, she did a lot of the cross-examination for Amber Heard and her witnesses. That's one thing so. I didn't see, yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, um, th- th- there's a lot to it. Uh, I won't get into it just because there's, like, a, a lot of information in there. Oh, yeah, it's huge. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, she did like a really, really, really good job on just like questioning the wit- questioning the witnesses and questioning their um, intent and stuff like that. So it was, it was really nice. Yeah, yeah. She, she she really had a well worded speech at the very end. Uh, I listened to the yeah. whole thing and it was it was just well worded. It was intentional. It called her out on mm-hmm. her BS. Uh, and eventually, uh, the courts ruled in favor of Johnny Depp, which is what, what I really think should have happened because yeah. Yeah. initially if that Me Too movement was called out, you would have thought that you know, someone that abuses would abuse somebody else. Yeah. Um, so Go ahead. Uh, one of the main things that really kind of like made me mad about the whole trial and stuff like that was that people were just believing Amber Heard just because she was a girl, which – at the very Why beginning. Why would you do that? Yeah. Like, that makes yeah, yeah, no yeah, yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, I get, you know, like, girls nowadays are oppressed, and it's just a fact of reality. They make less money, dude. Yeah. They make less money than the males. Yeah. <laughs> less yeah. money than the males. No, yeah. Um, no, I'm not going to go there. What? Not no, yeah. <laughs> it's 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 wow. a it's a one. It, anyways, continue, Nathan. Please sorry. go, please, please, please. <laughs> before please. I before I go off. Before, please let my family laugh. Very nice. <laughs> please <laughs> laugh right now. <laughs> Do it. Um. No, yeah, and uh, just there's just so many people that believe Amber just because she's a woman, and it's like, why would you boil down someone's integrity like that to just their gender? That makes no sense, mm-hmm. and that is actually like a very. Um, crappy thing to do to somebody, and yeah. um, I think you should always believe somebody based based on their character and what they stand for and what truths truths they tell. Right, if that makes any sense. Hopefully, um, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I just think but, it's crazy that she went through all the process of of faking so much. She faked, and a yet lot. she can't even fake her own tears on yeah. stage, dude. Sure. And right. her 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 act her mentor said yeah. that she can't fake tears. Yeah. Yep. Uh, her acting coach said that she has a hard time crying during acting. Yeah. yeah. Which is what she was doing. She she was not crying dur- during the entirety of when she was on the stand. Right, and it's right. like okay, well, put two and two together. Like she, she was basically acting. It's like yeah. nobody makes that face and just doesn't cry. Everyone just could call if the BS. They were being genuine. Yeah, yeah. everyone could just call the so. BS. And uh, one last thing that I actually uh, I never heard in all of the like two hours that I, I listened to for the summaries on this case. Mm-hmm. What yep. about what about this whole deuce in the bed thing? So yeah, I've not heard that on like any official summaries. Yeah, I've seen the memes. Yeah. Okay. I've seen, yeah, yeah, but uh, I, I, the summary so, do you never, know, do you know anything about that, Nathan? Yeah. So basically uh, I researched <laughs> for five hours about the deuce. So we're deuceless. <laughs> yeah. So during Johnny Depp's testimony and this gets referenced multiple times throughout the trial. Mm. Um, so apparent, apparently, uh, I think Amber and her friends were going to, uh, Coachella, I think like that. Um, Co- oh, here that's, we where, go. that's where they went wrong. The yeah. worst. <laughs> yep. And I think Johnny Depp was going to visit Paul Bettany, which I think he was the dude who plays Vision. Vision. Yeah, Vision. Um, and when he left, um, Paul Bettany, I'm not sure how he got the photo. It wasn't super clear on me. <laughs> um, but he showed Johnny a photo and he was like, hey, Johnny, you should kind of take a look at this. And on his bed, because I think Johnny and Amber like had like a humongous fight that same morning. Um, <laughs> what? So on Paul's phone, it showed a picture of his bed. Yeah, and it just showed like a fat poop just on <laughs> on Johnny's Sorry. side of the bed. Sorry about the language, but we he said had to say fat poop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <Fat beep>. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, and uh, he like. He was like, fat like, poop. Yeah. 
<laughs> How dare you meme right now? And um, and like with Amber Heard, man, like um, during those audio files that uh, Johnny Depp recorded, mm-hmm. uh, you could tell that he she was. Man, it just felt like mm. throughout the, all of those audio files, she was acting the whole time. Like she was really? using, she was buffing her her personality with what she learned with how what, what was what was taught by her mentor in, in acting. Like you, you, yeah. it was just so over the top. And why would you do that, baby? <gasps> no, you wouldn't. It's like shut up, <laughs> shut up. It's, it, her Nobody her, her like tonality that, sounded <laughs> fake. Like yeah. it sounded. Mm. Uh, it, you, you, I know how people like. You, I don't know, man. Well, Everything about the thing just, it didn't sound real. Yeah. Yeah. It sounded it, all well, concocted. Well, like, without getting too, I mean, this is a great a great topic that, that maybe we should dive into later. Yeah. But, like, th- that, that's, like, textbook, like, narcissistic and abusive. Yeah. To, like, yeah. spin narratives just, yes. just to, like, make the, the person being, being, uh, uh, abused and manipulated, that's the word. Yeah. Um, <laughs> believe the narcissist version of reality versus what's actually happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, which is a deep topic, but uh, right. And I, I'm so glad that I've never experienced that in a relationship before. I've, I've never had the pleasure, sure. <laughs> the pleasure. Know, of, of experiencing such things. Uh, I've, I've, I found myself pretty lucky, but I, I've heard from my yeah. friends. Yeah. Oh, I've heard from my know friends. A lot of people like that. And it's not <laughs> fun being around them, man. Um, yeah, absolutely. Also, is my audio fine? Like, yeah, your audio's like, good, man. You sound great. Your audio's fine. You're, uh, you look fine. You're fine. A little bit? Okay. Is this good? Yeah, okay. absolutely, man. Because, yeah, I, I keep, like, swinging my head around. I'm just like, oh. So I don't want to, like, mess it up. No, uh. it's, all, it's all good. <laughs> That's all good. Um, I just lost my train of thought. Um, but, yeah, he um, he did everything that he could have to, you know, speak the truth and everything. And he won in the end, so... He's calm, collected. They yeah. gave they gave him the dubski, bro. Dubski. Like, yeah. he, he, he came down with the Fortnite dubski, man. It's so, he, <laughs> so he got it. Also, right he played, now he played the long game. Um, I'm not sure if this is still going on, but freaking both Amber and her lawyer, uh, I think her name was Elaine or something like that. Okay. Um, they're going around and being complete sore losers, in my opinion. Oh my god! And they're saying like, oh, the jury was paid off. Oh, this happened. Oh, we had evidence in the UK trial, which is apparently a trial that they had. Like this is the first. Tri- that was the first trial that they yeah. had, and she won in that trial. And okay. then they came to the US and had the trial that we're we're yeah. watching now. Funny thing is, UK trial was not televised, and so they can oh, spin it yeah. whichever way they want. Right. So right. there's no proof. That actually makes yeah. sense. So that makes sense how they won. And and yeah, they kept going back to like oh you know like we had more evidence in the uk trial and everything it's like what do you guys keep referencing a trial that happened in a different country that has different rules and different justice system than ours it's like that makes no mm. sense well is that where amber was living at the time is that why they had that there or is that just because uh, they wanted to do it no, in a place uh, i think johnny depp was suing the sun newspaper which i don't know why it's called the sun it's a lame <laughs> newspaper it's, it's 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 I think it's like the most it's the most popular tabloid newspaper. Yeah, you got a problem? Take it up with the Sun. I sued the Sun. Not even joking. Not even joking. The That's unmitigated power of the Sun. Oh my goodness! Silly I can't boy. believe Johnny Depp sued oh the Sun. I <laughs> thought you were gonna say his son, and then you just stopped at Sun. I was like. What the Sun? The Sun. No. Newspaper. No. Tabloid been, newspaper. I swear. He's been Johnny talking to Depp, JJ. You silly Billy. <laughs> you silly Billy. You silly Billy. You've been talking to JJ a little too much. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> You've been talking to Icarus. No, and apparently that's <laughs> part of the UK, and so that's why they have the trial in the UK, I believe. So, With all this crime documentary I've been listening to lately, uh, mm. it's mm. not uh, – in, in fact, it's common practice to move trials to different states – for 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 the jury to be unbiased, yeah, yeah it's yeah. super important um, trial, yeah. absolutely. Which yeah. I believe that's why they have it. They had it in Virginia. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, um, crazy yeah. man, West Virginia, West Virginia, yeah. born, born and raised, <laughs> Mountain Mama, take Mountain me home, Mama. Country Girls, take me home. West Virginia. All right, so so moving on from that, I, th- I yeah. think that 
I'm, I'm really happy with the way that went. Um, and I'm also really happy with what Carlos shared with me, I believe, <laughs> yesterday or today, oh, in, ter- yeah. in terms of, uh, what, what would you call him? Uh, he's not a motivational speaker. He's a philosopher. Are you talking about Jordan Peterson or are you talking about the other guy? Mr. Sprawl. Okay, uh, yeah. Sprawl. R.C. Sprawl. So, R.C. R.C. Sprawl. R.C. Car all, Sprawl. All my, all my reformed listeners will enjoy this. Um, Mr. Carr. No. <laughs> <laughs> fun fact. Mr. Fun fact. Car so <laughs> so his, name, his name is Robert Charles, which if, if you uh, directly translate that to Spanish, is Roberto Carlos. Ah, yeah. Roberto Carlos. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, no. Carlos, Carlos, are you certain that's what it is, or you just want to? So, so, so you want to shorten that to, to Rob Carr? Oh. So he's a car, Rob. Stop er. dunking on my favorite. Our <laughs> <laughs> RC Car Robber. <laughs> no. Um. No, I'm just, bro, I'm just putting two together. You're gonna rob a car. Oh my god. Alright, sorry, this is sorry. Uh Megan does gonna sue us one day. <laughs> not today's not that day. <laughs> today is not. I hope it's done. Okay, no, uh R- RC Sproul um is he 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 died a few years ago. Um but he was a a theologian, a very, very smart, well educated man, not just in, in uh in the in the field of theology, mm-hmm. but in the field of philosophy, um, heck yeah, That's he awesome. was respected by philosophers worldwide, both uh, religious and secular. Sigmund Freud. That was before his time. He's not that old. Darn, I <laughs> he, he looked, up, he looked up to him. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Sigmund Freud. He, he was. They're practically brothers. <laughs> yeah, in the grave. <laughs> oh my. Oh my god. You're the same age. <laughs> too yeah. soon, dude. It's too soon. Um. But uh, and so yeah, he's my he's my favorite theologian for good reason. Um, you know, he, yeah. He's ma- masterful in, in language, has a huge vocabulary. It's so impressive! His, vo- his vast vocabulary a, is a, just something to it's awe inspiring. An out, outstanding outstanding uh, speaker. Nice. And, uh, he, he didn't say um once in that entire speech no. for like an hour. And that's, what what I really appreciate about what I, what I really appreciate <laughs> about RC Sproul, Sproul, rest in peace, is that um, he could take deep, vast uh, theological and philosophical uh, concepts, right, mm. and really like draw them down to their basics to where he could explain it to the average listener, aka. Barney style. He can break, break it down. <laughs> Barney style. Okay, okay. <laughs> if, you if you're not in the Marine Corps, that makes zero sense to you. That makes zero sense. You, to you me. can put two and two together. You don't have to be in the military to know that. You can, yeah, you, you can break it down, Barney style. I'm pretty uh, sure we all watch, all watch Teletubbies as, as kids. Yeah. I love you. You love me. Let's study uh, theology. Oh, <laughs> hey, clap. With RC Sproul and Sigmund Freud, too. <laughs> They're the same age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. The, you could this, not is why, think, this is why I'm a musician. You so could I, not, I can analyze this with complete accuracy and know it's garbage. You could not take two further minds than RC Sproul and Sigmund, Sigmund Freud. Freud. RC Sproul, are they the same age? <laughs> not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that's we're, awesome. We're, Kyle, why are we so, so intelligent, hey, we're, man? We're gonna take it a, hurts. We're, we're gonna oh, take God. a quick break. And okay, we'll be right back. Quick break. Be right back. This commercial break is brought and to you. And we're recording right by now. Anchor. And we're recording. Anchor is the premium. Anchor is recording right now. Anchor as we is the premium. We're not gonna get sued by Anchor. Podcast uh, distributor. We've hit the record bro, button for all we're your not, podcast guess what distributing button needs. We hit. We just hit a couple of that. Anchor and please use promo code Bobcast at checkout. For zero percent at checkout. Because that code will not work. <laughs> How are we? How are we? <laughs> Alright guys, we just came back from uh picking up uh I almost called you Charles. Uh Carlos's son. Charles Xavier. Uh, Charles Xavier's son. <laughs> we came back, we actually made two reels. You go you should go check them out on our Instagram, <laughs> Bobcast <laughs> and <laughs> Yep. What, there's a bunch of really uh, pointless noises and effects that you won't be able to hear what's going on and you won't enjoy it, but I sincerely and you can urge totally, you to go check it out. You can, tol- you can totally tell it's produced by three people who are almost 30 years <laughs> <laughs> Who are addicted to YouTube poops and Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, the, that's the demographic we're trying to hit. Um, so, yeah, speaking of being 
like the exact opposite of being completely mature. <laughs> Immature. How are we? Sorry. <laughs> how are we? We, we were talking. Uh, yeah. How, how are we? How are we? Okay. No. So honestly, what do you got planned for this weekend, man? I know you don't. I, with, oh. the, with a kid, it's kind of hard to plan stuff. But what yeah. do you got planned? Yeah. I, well, I haven't actually asked you because I just feel like you're either at work sure. or you're at home at work. because you got to watch your kid. Well, for for me, uh, truthfully, truthfully, um, have, having Henry with me on the weekends um, and throughout the week too mm-hmm. is it's just awesome. I, I, I genuinely enjoy spending time with my son. Uh, nice. Tomorrow, uh, him and I are going to do... Him and I. Is that the, the, the plural, plural version of Jimenez? That's the first time I've heard that joke. That's the first time I've, I've, I've made it. You know, that's the first time I've ever made that joke. You know, I've known you for a long time. That is Bro. the first time you've I would know because I, th- I just thought I originally thought Bro, of that. I knew you were going to make that joke, man. I was, I, was, I was prepped for it. I was ready. Then why do I even talk? Why am I here? Oh, okay. Because well. it is forespoken that you would be here. Today, at this exact in moment what in commandments? Time. So speaking speaking of all things being foreordained, R.C. Sproul <laughs> taught that um, he <laughs> so he, he was big in the philosophical arts and uh, and and um, the, the, the theological knowledge and um, nice. his his book uh, chosen by God really like uh, brings brings out. Um, or, sorry, it uh, hashes out that that concept of like God being sovereign right. over all things, and mm-hmm. how He um, ordains all things to work for His glory and for the salvation of all those who would come to Him. Nice. And so, so, um, so, 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 pause. Did you unbutton your shirt for this podcast? Um, I can. You're, you already, oh, bro, what the heck? All right, and oh, we're, we're on camera. and now it's rated R, and so <laughs> we've gone from PG to R in two point two point zero seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I am currently single. I do have a couple notes here on what I like from uh, R.C. Sproul. I, th- I feel like that's how I want to say it. Sproul. 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 I, I thought it was Sproul when I first... Uh, I, also, I also am American and, and thought that. But then I, I, I listened to like um, his radio program, which still plays today, called Renewing Your Mind. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, the, the guy who was introducing him was like, and now we're going to listen to a teaching from Dr. Sproul. I'm like, oh, so Sproul? it's Sproul. S-P-R, Sproul. like roll. Sproul. Sproul. Roll, the, ro- the, the rolling, instead of the rolling stone, it's the rolling sprawl. <laughs> it's hard for me to take these jokes seriously because I have such a high view of our <laughs> Sproul. I have a couple of cool things. You know, remember that I sent, uh, after that video, I sent you a lot of voice messages because I, I wanted to uh, just bring to your attention what I, what I was learning. So for some context, um, uh, him, me and Kyle... We're talking about um, his, one of his favorite philosophers, uh, Jordan Peterson, who's very yeah. popular right now. Mm-hmm. And um, and you, you had told me what was like the main one of the main things you appreciated about Jordan Peterson. Uh, well, there's a lie. Do you remember what like the one but specific the thing one that thing I that, mentioned? The one thing that spoke that stuck out was that you, you had said that he had a way with words. That his vocabulary yeah, was expansive. Absolutely. And that's why I was like, dude, I got, I got yep. to introduce you to RC because um, one of his, I, I believe, like one of his areas of focus was on languages. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, his his vocabulary is extensive. So I had the idea, you know, what, I'm just going to send Kyle one of my one of my favorite videos of. RC, mm-hmm. which which was RC having a, a lecture at a Ligonier conference, which Ligonier is the company that he he founded, and um, the subject was what is evil and um, why why does it exist or something like that. That's correct. Uh, what what is evil and yeah why why out. does it exist and to, it's th- these are two huge questions and it took him yeah. an hour. To explain this one, an, an hour to just brush up on the topic. He admitted that that yeah. was just a quick flyover. Yeah, yeah, interesting. So, what are some things that stuck out to you? Yeah. Uh, so he predated this all the way back to Adam and Eve, which I thought it was pretty cool. Mm. Um, yeah, there's there was just so much good content uh, that I feel like because I was working at the time that I listened to this, so mm. I listened to the whole thing pretty much like a podcast, but watching his YouTube video. Yeah, and um. Man, okay, so evil can only be defined against the backdrop of what is good. Yep. So evil only exists if good exists. Um, uh, yeah, evil is nothing and only exists, exists through something, and it's a parasite. So, like, if the host dies, so does it, um, yep. which, is, which is just crazy to think about. Uh, 
and and then he went into something that was like explaining the origin of evil. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce this correctly because I didn't the, give the. Uh, are you talking about theodicy? Theodicy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. And I spelled it correctly. I just don't want to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so theodicy, um, an intellectual an intellectual reason for God for the problem of evil in the universe. Yep. So pretty much to justify God. Um, and you can divide life into three categories. Pretty much everything I'm saying is just quoting from him because I, 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 I wouldn't even be able to brush up like he did. Uh, metaphysical error leads to physical error and then physical evil leads to moral evil. Mm. Um, so it's all just a chain reaction. You can't have one without the other and everything is going to happen. Um, so you have to solve the root of everything, which is practically impossible. Mm. Um, yeah. That's why R.C. Sproul, in that lecture, he, he, he does what I think a, a, lot of, um, a lot of lecturers don't have, at least like in like modern like evangelical culture, don't have the gall to say, I can't explain yeah. why evil exists. Because nobody, nobody likes the unknown. People, people yeah. that go to the church, uh, I feel like, I uh, like the comfortability of, mm-hmm. of knowing that there is a God and, and ha- having a rule set to live by that guides them because yep. yeah. having something that guides you is a lot easier than trying to find your own way <laughs> Sure, <laughs> in, in um, certain ways. Not saying that people don't want to follow God because they don't want to follow a rule set, but it's, it, it can be more comfortable that way yeah. mm. in certain aspects. Yeah. But, um, well, I, I guess for me, cause like I'm a little like, uh, I, I should say uh, a little pessimistic about like, a lot of like modern church views. Sure. Um, and yeah, like uh, I think a lot of people like to compartmentalize God into like their own perspective, which is like, that, and that's all, always a problem. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, that, Oh yeah. Come on, man. Like I see that all the time and it just makes me so mad. And I'm like, and for me, like when I get like mad about something like that, I just tend to like, just shut down. So, you tend to shut it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Think exactly. about your mind, and then you shut it down. Yeah. Just you shut, shut it down. It down. Um, yeah. No, yeah. So, like, uh, I, I think it's honestly good to like talk about this. Um, and I, I, I'm not sure like how I would go about this with like a person mm-hmm. who's wanting to like strengthen their um, walk with uh, God, pretty much. Because like, there's a lot of people who just want to stay in that, like, you know their own point of view of like God and like how he works and stuff and just, uh, and just live to, according to that pretty much. Yeah, exactly. I want to promise one thing. I know you're going to go off. I know you're going to, this, this is my, this is my literal favorite. I know, I, I, I know, yeah. I know, I know, no, 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 no. So I just want to promise one thing. I accidentally said that. So when I said more metaphysical error, at least a physical error and then physical, at least a moral that, that was from a German philosopher. Um, <clears throat> that he that that caught his interest that caught R.C. R.C. Sproul's interest um, that wasn't his belief because he debunked it R.C. Sproul eventually debunked it he's like it's, it's an alluring concept mm. but it can't be true because God isn't the author of evil um, and it kind of that that's like one of those things where it gives us an easy way out like yeah. I, I error because I'm human and I'm finite so you can then, so it literally gives you the excuse to do yeah. and say whatever you want and if yeah. you if you if you have if you have the excuse to do wrong then there's no problem yeah and that goes that 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 is antithetical to the teaching of scripture and if if human beings truly aren't doing anything wrong if we truly aren't transgressing the, the law of God by how we live and yeah. there was no need for God to send his own son to die for our sins. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so, exactly. So while, while that sounds nice, it might be comforting. It might give, give you like a really quick mic drop to somebody who's non-believing and doesn't know what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really address the heart issue of why we need a savior. Yeah. yeah. Crazy stuff, man. Yeah. I, I, and this is me watching this video for the very first time and, 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 and brushing up on this topic for the very first time. So that's the, the, all my notes right now are literally the extent <laughs> of my, my, my knowledge on the subject because I'm slowly dipping my toes and feet into this whole subject because of uh, he makes it interesting, man. He's an yeah. interesting guy. Yeah, I, I would tell you, um, I'll, I'll, send, I'll send you guys links and maybe put them in the, in the show notes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, R.C. Sproul's... Uh, organization that he founded Ligonier was like the, the whole, the whole idea was like, take these huge theological concepts and take them out of just like 
Because like it used to be that only that like seminary professors would study this kind of stuff, right? And, and yeah. people studying become pastors mm-hmm. and theologians. But R.C. Sproul wanted to make these truths accessible to um, the everyday Christian, the layman, the one who isn't going to be a pastor. But um, he he wanted he wanted Christians to be well educated because he hated the idea that's really prevalent in, in uh, evangelicalism today yeah. that faith is just a blind leap that mm-hmm. when you when you profess faith in Christ and you live for Christ, you just throw away your intellect and you throw away all reason and logic. And R.C. Yeah. Sp- Sproul believed in what's called classical theism, and this mm-hmm. idea that like you, within philosophical and, and, uh, and logical um, systems can prove the existence of God mm-hmm. and can find faith to be a rational and logical thing. Mm-hmm. And so that's, that's why I appreciate his teachings. I, I, don't, I don't want my faith to just be this thing that I have to discard uh, common sense to believe in. Dude, to be completely honest, that actually interests me greatly because, like, there's just so much Christian propaganda that, like, sure. that, you know, like you were saying, like, we have to throw away our intellect and everything. Yep, yep. Um, just so th- we can fully, like, uh, depend on God, which is, like, that doesn't really make it a lot of sense to me. And, like, I, yep. and for years I was just kind of um, not really afraid to like speak up about it, but like there were sure. like it, it was just it was hard to like kind of put it in, into words, you know. Hmm. Um, and then when you, and then when you combine that with going to a church that believes something different, uh, yeah. in, in certain aspects, maybe you believe that there's a God, maybe you believe that there's a Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, but you believe yeah. other things in the Bible that are completely different. Mm-hmm. Like you're going to a certain church for years. Uh, you kind of feel like you have to throw away your intellects because you can only go so far in your faith because they, then you hit a breaking point of they want to go this way. You want to go this way. So why, why keep asking questions? And then you're like, what's the point of staying here? And that's the point that I got to. I was just like, I'm asking these questions that obviously aren't going to be, uh, um, answered with, uh, a good taste here. And I'm not going to learn much because they're going to get angry about it. So, no, yeah. And, uh, go, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I was, uh, hang on, I got to back up a little bit. So, <laughs> I, so one of the reasons why I stopped going to like a lot of modern churches nowadays is mm-hmm. because of that. Like, I felt like I couldn't question anything at all. Yeah. Nothing. And it, it just made me so mad because like, I was like, oh, why do I feel like so confused all the time? And so like that it's because I couldn't question anything because if I question anything, that means I don't believe in God. So much. It's just like, yeah, it's just so weird, man. So I'm go- I'm, go- I'm going to shamelessly plug where I go. Peace, peace, United Reformed Church <laughs> in Vancouver, Washington. I'm cool Washington. with that. I'm cool. And I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell listen you why. back and I'll look it up. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Um, one of the things I love about um, my 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 minister and elders is that we we encourage questions. We want yeah. if, if people have like a deep philosophical question or theological question. What we'll do is we'll try our best to uh, provide an answer on the spot and then follow up and say, let's meet up for coffee sometime and we can really hash out this question. Yeah. That's cool, man. Yep. That's cool. That's really cool, actually, man. That is. Um, I, I can see why the church that we used to go to didn't do that because there's no co- local coffee dude. shops to do that at. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only reason, by the way. The, the only reason. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, but but yeah but yeah R R C R C Sproul's the man. Mm. Heck yeah, man. But did he drive in? He did not drive an R C car. I man. didn't say that. Come you okay, finished okay. my sentence see, for I, me. See, you were the, the words in my mouth. I, I, ha- I have a meme and I'll, I'll send it to you guys. It's uh, it's R R C Sproul wearing an R C helmet, driving an R C R C car, <laughs> drinking R C cola. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Yes, that's, that's our so new cool. that's our new group chat photo. Uh, Awesome. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Put it in the group chat. Dude, please. Put it in the boff chat so that God freaking see it too. Um, awesome. But anyway, so back, 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 to my, <laughs> back to my Sunday plans. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, me, Henry and I are going to go. Nice segue. Nice segue. Henry and I are going to go to church. Um, and then we, we have like our, our uh, congregational meeting um, at following church, mm-hmm. which is uh, uh, oh, another thing I appreciate about PCRC is we are 100% transparent with our finances. And like we have like a proposal. Like, the deacons have put together a proposed budget for the year and then um all people who are members of the church not visitors but members awesome. are, are going get, to get have an opportunity to voice concerns if there are any mm-hmm. um and well here's uh, the thing if you put if you put forth your finances and what you get and what you make 
uh, wouldn't people get anxiety over what they don't know what the bills are? You know, like, what's yeah. electricity? What? Well, how much are the pews and Bibles? And- yeah, so we, we put it forth exactly how much we're spending on advertising, exactly how much our ministers are being are being paid. Wow, um, that's their, huge. Their benefits, wow. their their insurance. We're oh, wow. we're putting exactly how much we're uh, spending on um, on resources that were added to the church. Um, that's cool. And yeah. Uh, how much we're spending on like vacation for the ministers, like all, all cool. that stuff is laid out. And mm, awesome. yeah, so we, we, the congregation has the opportunity to, to raise concerns and to uh, vote on whether or not we, we approve um, not that the, the upcoming uh, democracy of the f- finances. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very um, nice. After, after that, I will take a fat nap and go to church again in the evening. <laughs> you got, oh, you got to do that? Yeah. The, the, the double church? Okay. Mor- morning and evening. Yep. Nice. That's cool. Two churches per evening. Um, what, what about, uh, I guess we'll go this way. What, what are you doing tomorrow? Uh, I was going to go to work tomorrow. Thanks for bringing that up, Carlos. <laughs> oh, Carlos. Thanks for bringing that up. Oh. All right, guys. Wow. Thanks for listening to the podcast. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> make, make sure, make sure, make sure if you're listening on Apple Smash Podcasts. Smash that like to, button. Uh, Smash like, like button, button. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're on YouTube. We have a five Support star. Support us on Patreon. Leave awesome, guys. Star review. Well, we're actually um, going to end it on that note. It's getting pretty late. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we got what, we got what? a couple minutes left. We'll, yeah, we'll get through what, this. We'll, what, we'll get through what, this. What are you doing tomorrow, Nathan? Tomorrow? Dude, I literally have no clue, man. Um, probably just sit and stare at my ceiling. and oh. Level 14, Final Fantasy 14. Well, 14, Final Fantasy 14. Awesome, no, man. I'm gonna, you should I'm make gonna, a reel. You should make a reel for the, for the gram, brother man. We'll we lay would, down. We would, Nathan has the most ingenuous, creative mind, and I think you, you would make some Absolutely. outstanding reels. Yeah. And we're not blowing smoke up your... Um, you should definitely. <laughs> you, should, you should definitely make some content. Not Drop Resonance up here. of Discovery too. Dang it, we need it. We need it. All right. <laughs> All right so, to be completely honest, um, we will. I am working on my short story right now. So oh, I'm, I'm doing nice. That. Okay, okay. Um, so I might be working on it tomorrow. Okay, um, okay. It's taking me forever to write down because I'm kind of constructing a world around it. So Ooh. I'm doing that. Well, hold on. It's been a decade. You did say that about a decade ago. How far have you gotten? You know what I'm saying? What? A decade? A minute? I can't. I, I, I can't I, prove that. <laughs> I can't prove that. I remember none of this. But okay, yeah. well, I he, well, oh, you didn't live with them, and also same. I, I remember none of this either. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I've not lived. I, well, then why lived is it so familiar? Anything. Why is it so familiar that you're bringing up a story? Well, anyways, how far? How far? How far? How far? Uh, I, how far? How far? I literally started this like three months ago, and I, I have like a page and a half, so I'm going very, very slow. So. Well, at least you're starting something. That's more than yeah. what I can do. Um, All I do is write two and a half minute songs that get posted on the internet and forgotten beep, about. Beep, so. beep, Post beep, on the internet beep, for beep, no one listens to, which is a crime. Yeah, which is an absolute crime. Yeah, I don't know how to market. So. This man is talented, and we yeah. need to hear your music. Uh, so check out Fleet Studios hey, on Instagram. It's not Fleet Studios. Okay, but... It's Rainquill. Rainquill. Hey, you know, it's least, been years. How I, long has it really been since okay, you listened to music? I, I, at least... How, at least, you, at least you have the gall to record. I have all these great ideas and don't even. You, I know you. You also. I'm bro, going to. I, 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 I'm committing to. Uh, I'm. Committing he was to. like Carlos is like I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a, a helix a helix board. Boom buys the helix <laughs> board. So I'm gonna much. record a bunch. He, he buys a, a di. He buys an interface. <laughs> I buy a I'm gonna record. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna buy, I'm gonna record. I'm gonna, buys a MacBook. I'm gonna record. It's been like <laughs> six months. Carlos. Okay, okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've got the yeah. Helix. Carlos is a great musician. I've got too. the guitar. He is. I've got. I've got the mic. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, I am streaming on Twitch as well. Um, I just started doing it not too long ago. What's uh, your, he's what's got, your, what's he's your got a great channel? stream. He's got a great. Yeah. It's really weird channel. right now because it's like I'm talking to like nobody, but I'm like talking to like a camera, so it's like okay, a little weird. Uh, sort of. So, like, I'm trying to get used to that. What, what are you concept. using? What are you using to to capture your in-game footage? Uh, OBS. Well, that is the I'm only, software. I'm only asking because I, I want to get into streaming. Well, here's. Okay. Oh my god! Another thing that you're not going to actually get into. <laughs> no, I, no, I am. I no, 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 for real. <laughs> you're going to keep <laughs> no beer. racking them up, but nope. bro, just like the bills. Nope, <laughs> nope. just like beer. the bills. Nope, it's going to happen. It's uh, going to happen. Um, well, I'm just saying, Nathan. Like, uh, it can't yeah. be to nobody because I know you got friends on Discord that are that you like talk with all the time. So yeah, you can invite them. And I'm sure they'll show up for at least a couple minutes. I mean, some of them will, some of them won't, because like usually. Um, a lot of my friends have very different time zones. Oh, okay. So, yeah, sometimes okay. it's kind of, like, iffy and stuff. But, uh, yeah, yeah. So, sometimes they join. Um, Streaming's hard, man. It's, it's hard on your mental. Yeah. Um, I think it's been, like, a, a pretty positive outlet. Um, 
if you go and watch my Earthbound series, because that, that's what I'm currently streaming, I'm going to mm. stream Earthbound, Earthbound tomorrow. Do you know what Earthbound is, Carlos? I have no idea. But I know what it is, but you don't know. So. Earthbound is a Super Nintendo game. Oh. And it was made in 95. Dude, I'm going to get so much hate for this. I think it was 95. Mm. So, um, yeah, there's yeah, going to be you. people in the comments be like, hey, man, Earthbound was made in... Dirt, 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 dirt. And I'd be like, oh, cool. Well, this guy's going to be a good reel. Should make that a reel. Earth Power's made in dirt, 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 and just post it. We're going to get our first negative three star review because of this. Oh, um, I can't yeah, wait. Honestly, I'm, yeah, just, just keep keep voting, everybody. Yeah, I'm we, doing we that. Love, love to see it. I'm doing that. Um, but by the way, where's my watch that you're going to. Oh, you'll, you'll get your watch. So, uh, we'll, guys, last we'll week was my watch. birthday. June 14th was my birthday. <sighs> Carlos showed me this watch. He's like, hey, man. You want this watch? Or he, he like showed me like a uh, like a uh, a rack. That sounds like, like a, a familiar story. Kind of like, like rack. Hey man, I'm watches. gonna stream on Twitch. Hey man, I'm gonna start. Hey, this is, hey, my, man, this start is my first time hey, talking man. about streaming to Twitch with you guys. You complete buffoons. Hey man, I'm gonna plant a garden. Hey man, I will. I never said that. I will never say that. <laughs> hey, they can't don't prove that. Ever, just like they can't prove you that you did say, anything else. Don't you ever say I said that ever? Hey man, I'm gonna re-enlist. <laughs> <laughs> I have never. Okay, okay. I did say once. I did say once that I would re-enlist. Yeah, you did. To get to get yeah, into DI school. Yeah. Thank heavens, I never did that. Oh wow, dude. We I, were cut, well, we were motivated at one time. Anyways, um, we will have to. That's for another podcast. Oh, no, I lost where my train of thought was. Uh, I was actually on something good. Dang it, Nathan. Oh, I'm sorry. It's gone. I'm not. But also, yeah, I'm streaming Earthbound tomorrow. Um, I don't care if anybody sees it. It's just me and my my outlet. Uh, it's my first time actually playing Earthbound uh, all the way through. Oh, you doing yeah. a full, full playthrough? Full playthrough? You're not a half playthrough? Um, yeah, play? I have three parts on up on YouTube right now. They're just an extrapolation of my uh, Twitch okay um, vod. So it's just that, and then uh, I might play some V Rising. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of that because VR know, Rising? No, V Rising because. I know you two like aren't into like the game world as I am. So, what are you talking? Oh, about? that's a stretch. I yeah. I play video games. Okay, I I've installed Fortnite at least twice. Okay. I, I I have. Two. I played. I've I've got, I've gotten a battle royale at least. Uh, a, 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 I, I've I, got two Xbox Ones on top of each other, just <laughs> collecting dust. He actually does. He actually does have two Xbox Ones. Okay, technically I have one. My mom has the other, but so two. <laughs> Two Xbox Ones. They look really the nice on top house. of each other, not being used. Yeah. Really it's like collecting dust. Oh my gosh. But uh, so oh the question gosh. to you, oh Kyle, is what are you doing this week? Oh my yeah. gosh. Besides working. Uh, I'm not working. It's Sunday. I'm not working on Sundays. I've told you this every podcast that I don't work on Sundays. Hey, man. Guess what? Guess what? You're not working on Sundays. Congratulations. Okay. So, so, what, 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 hey, what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> Uh, so tomorrow I'm actually practicing. Uh, sorry, I'm reading what my fiance is saying. Uh, I'm reading. Oh, I need to practice saying words for my ceremony for my wedding. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, are, you, are, you, are you writing your vows or? I, we should. We nice. haven't yet. Yeah, it's we have like 22, 23 days left until the wedding. We do should probably you, should write our vows. Do you want to write do your vows or, or do you want to recite the traditional ones? Um, because usually the traditional. Tra- the traditional ones are read to you by the minister, and you just repeat after them. That's probably what she's talking about. So we don't have to yeah. write vows. I would, I would, I would clarify. Let's, let's let's clarify. Wait, wait also, uh, I also want to clarify something. Uh, are you guys going to have like a ceremony after the a reception? Yeah, yeah. Uh, after the reception. ceremony. Sorry, I got it backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're, you're, you're a bit backwards, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a bit backwards. Yeah, we'll have a, re- a big reception um, nice. after the ceremony. We're kind of. Uh, the 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 location's up in the air right now because okay. we, originally it was going to be my parents' house and it's going to be somewhere else. But we want we want to invite a lot of people. Yeah, want to invite dude, you guys. There, there's um, no all right. So your parents' little, house is like pretty good, but it's not going to hold a lot. Of it's people. not. It's not going to hold a lot of it's people. Not hold yeah. anybody. We're doing an, an elopement because we are not a fan of big weddings yeah. or just weddings, especially after how stressed out I saw Carlos on his wedding day. Dude, oh, Carlos, wasn't um, and also at all. how how dude, stressed out I saw Carlos. JJ on his wedding day. Oh my, dude, JJ did not sleep at all. Oh, I slept fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. JJ did not sleep one wink of sleep 
when Kyle and I stayed over at his house. Why, why is that? Bro, what, what bro for ner- him, what was he well, nervous about? The, the, the problem is with JJ, it's a flex not to sleep. He'll be, he'll be like, "Yeah, man, I only slept like two hours last night." <laughs> He's like, "Bro, that's not a flex. Stop telling me this." Come uh, on, man. If, if someone tells joker. me, if someone tells me they got, uh, if someone tells me they got eight hours of sleep, I'm like, "Wow, that's a flex. that's a real flex." Yeah, that's yeah. A real flex. Yeah, like, I got eight hours. Sleep oh no, time, sleep. Man. It's like, dude, I can do that any day. But mm-hmm. I actually like sleep, yep. so I don't. I know I don't want to not I, sleep. I need a lot of sleep, so, man. I'm just one of those yeah. guys that need a lot of sleep. So you're after that. What do you? What else are you doing? After that, just gonna relax, relax with the fiance. We, we, I've been doing a lot of uh, research on topics for the podcast. This pretty much this entire week, and I've, I've been you working need some a lot. Of, time. And I've been yeah, I've been working on a lot. I've been working a lot of hours at uh, my job while doing so. So I'm kind of. I need this day off to just be like a normal day where we just lay in bed. I, maybe I go to the gym yeah, and then come Thank back you. and we, we just relax for the better half of the day. And right on, right on. And yeah. force her to watch a Stranger Things. And so. ho- yeah, ho- well, I can't <laughs> because she has to get caught up. Yeah, that's right. And Thanks for ruining my, each, my day off. Each episode's like an hour, an hour, yeah. an hour long, and they're, long but they're but they're worth it. And it's has, great. Has we'll probably seen, get Chipotle. For has she night, seen uh, the first three seasons? Yes. Okay, so yes, she has. So she has to be a cop and four. Yeah, so she's, she's way ahead of me, man. I've seen. Nathan. I still, I still need to watch Ozark. the The next season on Ozark, I still need to watch. Um, man, I can't. I can't think. Uh, the boys. I need to see the new season. The milkshakes. No, the. What do you mean, the boys? Have you never heard of the boys? Carlos. No, I actually have. I thought you were making milkshakes at the We need to get him into that because okay. he would really like it. I never. Th- I, don't, I don't know how appropriate it is to have RC Sproul and the boys <laughs> on the same <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain to you what the boys is after this podcast. Oh, yes. All right. right, right, right. <laughs> um, no, good show. Um, yeah, that's awesome, man. Uh, you definitely need uh, just a day to unwind and stuff like yeah. that. I think that's, yeah. that's good. Yeah, because yeah, despite popular belief, it is not always good to grind twenty four seven. Yeah. It's actually really degrading on your mental health. You got to grind, grind while you grind all the yeah. time. Yeah, I just didn't want to feel like. I, I'm, I'm unknowledgeable on any subject. I feel like it's, it's really fun to come into this podcast and just yeah. be, and, and, and be on point with the knowledge on the topics that are I, at hand. You were yeah, like you sure. were on point with like your whole breakdown, like the whole Am- uh, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp thing. Shut yeah, up, shut well, up I, yeah, man. Well, come on now. Th- thank you. I was just really interested in it. There was a lot of really good points that were against Amber Heard that mm. were just facts. They were all just facts. I was like, that's sure. fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Bam, yeah. bam, 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 bam. And now her entire argument's debunked, and now she's. Throwing ninety percent uh, insults, yeah, looking like an idiot. Um, yeah. Also, one thing I kind of failed to mention is that mm. if you watched her testimony and everything, um, just like watch her body language and just how she she says things, dude. It is so obvious that she's lying, man. It is yeah. so obvious because, like, all right, for me, there there have been times in my life, uh, times, times in this in life, this times life. in this life. Um, it's an anti joke. Okay, I'm sorry. Like keep going. High school, middle school, no, where keep going, keep going, keep going. I have lied. Yeah. And there have been videos of me lying, and I would see my body language and how it would, you know, like kind of do this thing where I would be lying, and like I would be like, oh, obviously, like, obviously, it kind of looks like I'm lying, but like, you can what, tell, obviously, yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. And so when I saw Amber Hurt, sorry, when I saw Amber Hurt up there mm. and I saw her body language and how she says things, I'm just like, wait. That's familiar because I've done that same thing. I, I, I know you're lying. She, she took cues from me. Yeah. She stole it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, dude, I honestly know you're lying because I used to be that person. It's like, come on. Your cell phone. Here, I mean, here. Obviously, I didn't like do like that same like really bad things that she did. But like, mm. um, but like, yeah, you just kind of know, man. You're just like, OK, like I know exactly what you're doing because I, I used to do that. So, well, let me say I appreciate the fact that you have not abused Johnny Depp. <laughs> We, we no. tried. It's hard not to, man. It's just such oh an easy God. target. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is so bad, dude. Don't so on oh, that man. note. On that um, note. Um, so anyways. So yeah, RC Sproul, anyway. Uh, so if you, no, if, you're, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, please uh, please uh, subscribe. Um, Cheers to everyone that's reviewed us so far. Oh, it's we been really so appreciate awesome. it. And it's really Isn't encouraging. Five? So please leave, leave your reviews. Um, we, we'll read them on the podcast. Yeah. Thank um, you, Carlos, and Carlos's mom. Well, here's the thing: seventy percent have already been from us, so we're thanking ourselves. But, <laughs> but we don't want to admit you. We, you forced us. To, you forced my hand. We had. A, we've had. A, you were forced my hand. <laughs> You're an anime villain with the head. We, we the, the legitimate reviews. <laughs> you have forced my hand. Yeah, the, the legitimate reviews that we've gotten so far have been 
so heartwarming for us. We really do. I will send you to the Shadow Realm. We won't send anyone's review to the Shadow Realm. We really appreciate (laughs) everyone. Thank you so much. Hey, Um, man, if you don't... Don't rate us five stars. I will send you the shadow round, Yugi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god! What's, what's that kind of quote? You're, you're a second-rate duelist with a third-rate yeah. deck. Yeah. <laughs> Yugi, second-rate duelist with a third-rate deck. So I guess we're not stopping this podcast because now I have to take, a, get to take the time to talk about how my parents didn't let oh me watch gosh. Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, this has been Best of Friends Forever cast, a.k.a. Hey. Bobcast. Yeah. Um, until next time, peace, peace love, love, and, and chicken. Oh, dude, next week we have to talk about Christian Harris because we've heard our Christian Harris.